welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be reading Disney Pixar's Inside Out 2. Thirteen-year-old Riley was the star hockey player for the Foghorns. They won the championship game. Riley's emotions, joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust never stopped supporting their girl. They had helped her build a beautiful sense of self from her beliefs and memories. It said, I'm a good person. Riley was invited to a hockey camp. It was run by the coach from Riley's future high school team, the Firehawks. Riley remembered past mistakes she'd made and wondered if she'd be good enough for the team. But Joy wasn't worried at all. Any bad memory that made Riley upset went straight to the back of the mind. Joy and Sadness brought Riley's good memory of winning the game to the belief system, where Riley's beliefs formed. The new belief that grew from the memory made Riley's sense of self grow even brighter. Later that night, an alarm went off in headquarters. Beep, beep. Suddenly, mine workers appeared. They tore apart the console and made a few updates. After all, Riley was a teenager. Now, it was time for big changes. The emotions tried out the new console, but every time they pushed a button, Riley overreacted. First, she snapped at her mother, then she cried about stabbing at her mother. Was the console broken? The emotions are afraid to use it. Soon, Riley was off to hockey camp with her friends, Bree and Grace. But they had bad news. They even assigned to a different high school. Oh no, what would Riley do without them next year? Then Riley bumped into Valentina Ortiz, the Firehawks captain. Gulp. Val was her hockey hero. Back at headquarters, Joy got her own surprise when four new emotions arrived. Anxiety couldn't wait to help Riley. Envy wished she was as tall as everyone else. Embarrassment was sweet but not much of a talker. And on Wii, she was bored with everything except her phone. Anxiety was determined to get Riley onto the Firehawks team so she would have friends in high school. Joy thought Riley should just have fun. She inspired Riley to take silly selfies with Bree and Grace. But the coach wanted them to focus. She took away everyone's phones. Riley was so embarrassed. Anxiety was certain that Riley wouldn't make the team if she didn't change. She needed a newer and better sense of self to become a newer and better Riley. Anxiety yanked the sense of self from its pedestal and launched it to the back of the mind. When Joy and the other emotions protested, Anxiety sent them to the vault, where Riley's secrets were kept. Trapped inside, they met Bluffy and Pouchy, characters from a preschool TV show that Riley secretly still liked. Lance Slashblade was a video game hero that she had a crush on, and Riley's deep dark secret was, well, you don't want to know. Pouchy offered some items to help them escape. Anger chose the exploding dynamite. The emotions had to hurry to the back of the mind to find Riley's old sense of self, but they needed some help from headquarters. It was up to Sadness to sneak in through the recall tube. The rest of the emotions followed the stream of consciousness, which carried objects that Riley was thinking about. It would lead them to the back of the mind. Along their journey, the emotions discovered that anxiety was ordering mind workers to imagine everything that could go wrong for Riley. Anxiety believed this would help her prepare for the final game at camp, but it made Riley super stressed. So Joy started imagining things going right for Riley. One by one, the mind workers joined her, but then the mind police showed up. The emotions escaped by soaring away on a giant balloon. Anxiety needed a new plan and ideas to prepare Riley for the game. She started a brainstorm. Ideas rained from the sky, pummeling the emotions in their balloon. It was going to pop. Suddenly, a big idea swooped by. The emotions leapt into the idea and soared out of the storm. Now Riley was ready for the game. She tried to look and act like a firehawk. Grace and Bree hardly knew their best friend anymore. Meanwhile, the emotions finally reached the back of the mine. They discovered a massive mountain of all the bad memories Joy had thrown away. Riley's old sense of self was at the top. Back in headquarters, Sadness got caught before she could help her friends. But it was already too late. Anxiety had created a new sense of self. It now said, I'm not good enough. 
Anxiety pushed Riley even harder, but during the big game, Riley doubted herself. The pressure was too much for her and for anxiety. Joy in the emotions found Riley's old sense of self, but without Sadness's help, they had to find out a new way to return to headquarters. They released the memory, sending them tumbling towards the belief system. The four friends went along for the ride. As the bad memories poured into the belief system, new beliefs sprouted, creating a glow that was even brighter than ever before. The beliefs began to form Riley's true sense of self, one that included the good, the bad, and everything in between. Joy returned to headquarters and calmed anxiety. Riley began to relax, too. She finally knew what she needed to do. Riley apologized to her friends. She'd been feeling uncertain about herself and the future. But her friends, both old and new, would be there to support her. Riley wasn't alone. Even though Riley and her sense of self were still changing, the emotions knew one thing. They would always love their girl. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Disney Pixar's Inside Out 2. And stay tuned for more book reads coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. And we will see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye.